Hey. So, hey, it's Rolando. I guess you know who I am, but um, so my story is about how I came about the realization that um, Bob Smith or you are always uh, is always right. So this happened. I think I first came to this realization one night over a few glasses of wine and some good conversation. And uh, for some reason, Laura brought up the fact that um, there was something that you had told her. Um, and, and that was that there was such a thing as a whistling marmot. Something I'd never heard before. Uh, of course, you know, when you hear that, you're like, well, that's ridiculous. I've never heard of such a thing as a, sorry, I'm in my office, uh, such a thing as a whistling marmot, which sounds um, fairly funny. So, you know, sure enough, I grabbed my iPhone and I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to look this up. And I grabbed the iPhone and I looked up a whistling marmot. And sure enough, uh, top of the list in YouTube, there was a marmot whistling on screen. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, God damn it, Bob Smith was right. Like, that's just what I thought. Um, I'll try to upload the link, or I'll try to put some sort of link under the video here just so you can uh, know what I mean. <clears throat> but I guess um, as I carried on in my academic and now professional life, um, I often find myself remembering all the lessons uh, that you taught me and uh, some of the people that surround me as well, um, both you know inside and outside of the classroom. And I often found myself, um, you know, just finding all these, finding all these new, all these lessons that you taught us in all different parts of my life, or in the things I was working on, or the things I was learning, or et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, the hierarchy of needs, or or if I found myself growing away from people, I could, you know, if I if I stepped back and thought about it, it was like, well, there was some self-importance probably involved in my part, and that's probably why I'm far, growing farther away. Uh, if I see somebody being miserable, I can quickly identify self-importance and cognitive consistency or any sort of, um, you know, it, it, all, the, all the lessons always keep popping up, almost on a daily basis. Uh, those things that I learned on the elaboration technique tend to stick a lot longer than anything that I didn't learn uh, or that I learned on a, on a level one um, learning process. Uh, you know, and, and every time something like that happens, I always think, you know, God damn it, Bob Smith was right. <laughs> so, um, it's, it, it's uh, I guess all I want to say is, you know, I really want to thank you, you know, for all the great lessons and, and for, because there's something um, about you sharing those lessons. I mean, you don't keep those lessons to yourself. You've always been somebody who... I think more than teaching, you have the unique gift of inspiring, and inspiring people, and inspiring for growth, and inspiring uh, to, to, to challenge myself, and to challenge um, others, and to keep growing, uh, so it's, it's definitely been, uh, and um, I feel really lucky to have uh, met you, and had your class, and, um, and you know, be able to keep in touch as well. Um, so, you know, congratulations, 30 year graduation, I think that counts as a little bit more than a victory lap, uh, 30 years in college, but uh, <laughs> that's only because we had a big victory to celebrate, I guess. Um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, a future relationship uh, in whatever form it takes and uh, really happy to, um, you know, really happy that for, for your success. and. Uh, Thanks again for everything, and you know, God damn it, Bob Smith was right. I guess that's why we call you the the, the Bob Father after all. <laughs> I think it sounds very appropriate. But um, all right, thank you for everything, Bob, and uh, I'll see you soon.